Well, I think there's a number of things. You know, to go to TCU again, it's a place, you know, it's a team we play every single year. It's a, a place that we've had success at. The last time we were in a regional there, we won it and we're able to go to a super regional. Um, and we really like our team this year, too. We think we've got a, a solid team and a great pitching staff that can do well in a regional. Unlike basketball and baseball, you get to stay relatively close to home for regionals, uh, whether you get to host it or whether you have to travel. Uh, just talk about that aspect and the convenience of it. Yeah, that's going to be great for our guys, especially coming off, you know, college baseball season's long. You play 56 games in the regular season. Uh, we're in the Missouri Valley Conference, so, you know, we have a lot of travel to the Midwest. We just came off our conference tournament up in Terre Haute, Indiana, so we were there for a week. Um, had a 15-hour bus trip home yesterday, so it's, it's great to be able to, you know, stay home and have a 30-minute drive over to our regional. You guys have some effective sluggers, but it's really the pitching that makes Dallas Baptist go. Talk about that. Yeah, that's been a new thing for our program. In the past, we've been a, a very offensive team, and it's, it's been great this year. The pitching is definitely uh, what's carried our program this season. Uh, we've got you know several really solid starting pitchers. Um, our top two guys will both be good draft picks this year, and uh, probably the highlight of our team is our closer. Uh, Brandon Coach is going to be an All-American and invited to try out for Team USA this summer, so he's really, really been key for the success we've had this season. You guys, TCU, uh, Texas Arlington, all three solid baseball programs. Talk about how college baseball in the Metroplex has been growing since you started at DBU. Yeah, I've been at DBU for 10 years now and um, you know, just seen it get better and better. And I think really the key is just the area that we're in. We're in one of the best, best areas in the nation for talent. Um, and, and you look at the number of players that have come out of our programs into the major league draft, and a lot of those guys have been, you know, local players that play in the local high schools from the Metroplex. So I think that's been the huge thing that's led to so much success in, in our three programs. And, um, and it definitely spurs you on, too, when you've got a program like TCU and, and UTA and how solid they are. You know, it, it just forces you to elevate your program as well. Regional starts this weekend in Fort Worth. you got Siena, Sam Houston State in that regional as well. What's going to take to win it? Well, it's always, you know, everybody says it, pitching and defense, and it's true. Um, our guys are going to have to pitch really well. TCU's got a great pitching staff. Sam Houston has a real balanced team, and obviously Siena to win their tournament. You know, they're playing really well right now. So um, you're going to have to you're going to have to pitch. You're going to have to play defense. Uh, TCU Stadium can be a, a tough one to score runs in, so being able to manufacture runs and come up with a key hit at the right time is going to be, I think, the key. Sounds like you're a small ball guy. Uh, not really. Not re we, really. Okay. Yeah, we, we like to drive the ball. We like hitting doubles and home runs, but uh, you got to be a complete team too. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're not able to do that, when the wind's blowing in, or you know, you've got a real good pitcher on the mound and your guy's going well, um, you got to have ways to win a game two to one or three to two as well.